We're told we need prisons to keep our communities safer and more secure. But what are prisons really for? Who's going to prison and why? Let's consider that for a moment. We are spending millions of dollars each year on prisons, despite the fact that the crime rate has been steadily decreasing since 1977. Many people are affected by targeted policing and go on to make up the majority of the prison population, specifically people who are homeless, street-involved, or underhoused, youth, people with disabilities, women, indigenous people, racialized people, non-status people. Those statistics are concerning. Even more concerning is the overrepresentation of people from our communities within prison. This is who's making up the Canadian prison system. Now do you feel safer? So what are some alternatives? Supportive, community-led resources and programs for people with disabilities. Meaningful, community-based support for survivors of violence. Stopping the criminalization of HIV and drug use. Anti-imperialism work. Work around Indigenous sovereignty. Conflict resolution workshops for children, youth, and adults. Youth-led community programs. Decarceration strategies. Restorative justice. Promoting healing versus punishment. Affordable housing. Stopping militarization, community accountability, access to health care, education, decriminalization of sex work, harm reduction programs in the community, and status for all. These are abolitionist strategies that help us put an end to the prison industrial complex.